John Horrigan for Boston Bruins Alumni TV. I'm joined by legendary defenseman Don Ory. 16 years in the NHL. He won two Stanley Cups with the Boston Bruins in 1970 and 1972, and a third Stanley Cup in 1976 with the Montreal Canadiens. Also a member of the legendary Team Canada in the Summit Series that took on the Soviet Union in 1972. And let's start off with your partner uh, are you, are you on defense. Almost all done? I'm oh, almost sorry. all done, Don. That's good. But let's That's talk good. about who you played with. You played with this guy who wore number four, allowed him to, to rush the puck while you stayed home. You were known as one of the great shot blockers during your career. Talk about that with playing with Bobby. Well, I don't have to talk about it. You just did enough for me. It, was, it happened to be Bobby Orr. It was, it was a, 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 a position born in heaven kind of thing. You know, we needed, I guess they needed somebody to play defense with a Bobby Orr. And, and I guess my name came up, and, and I was elected to uh, be his partner. That first Stanley Cup championship, 1970, some recollections of that time. One of the great teams. Look, at you're, you're asking me to go back 40 years. I have trouble remembering what I did uh, yesterday. So uh, it, it certainly was a big deal because it was our first one. We had a great bunch of guys, and, uh, you know, it, it, we deserved it because we worked hard on it. I mean, people thought that even the 71 team, that you could have won three in a row had things gone your way, but you came back and won it in 72. Well, that's right. Uh, I think Kenny Dryden had something to say about that. But uh, anyways, with that said, uh, I then went on to be his teammate with the Montreal Canadiens and Team Canada 72. So I didn't do without a good uh, backstop. Okay, talk about that 76 Stanley Cup one. You won it with Montreal. You play the whole year. You play 72 games. You get injured at the very end of the year. And for some reason, then they've changed it. I think they call it the Don Ory rule, that your name wasn't on the Stanley Cup because you didn't play in the playoffs. That, that, that's right. And, and right now, it's in the hands of the NHL. I'm still trying at this late age 30 or 35 years later to to get my name into the record books uh, not necessarily on the Stanley Cup so folks if you hear this interview write to the NHL his name should be on the Stanley Cup there are guys who never even skated in the playoffs who have their name on the cup finally the summit series um, arguably it was hockey that might have began the end of the Cold War taking on the Russians as a member of Team Canada Thoughts on that? Well, we didn't realize what, are, what we were getting ourselves into. It was just going to be a hockey tournament played in the, the end of August, the 1st of September. And uh, I, I didn't think I was one of the six best or seventh best or eighth best in the National Hockey League. But because I was asked, I, I couldn't turn it down. And it worked out that uh, we're still living the dream after that. That's great. Don Ory, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah.